Hi and welcome to the Honest Channel. If you're new here, I offer impartial product reviews, advice from experts and opinion from me, a journalist with a particular interest in all things anti-aging. But I also just love a great beauty or household cleaning device too. But today we're talking tretinoin and I've been using this prescription retinoid for six months now, ordering it from the skincare site Dermatica, which operates in multiple countries. And I promised an update to let you see how I'm getting on and show any changes in my skin. And I've also just come back from a two week holiday in the sun. So I was a bit worried about what would happen because tretinoin makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. So I'll be talking a little bit about how I manage that in this short video. And I'll also be sharing those all important before and after pictures. So first off, if you've not heard of Dermatica before and how it works, then I shared this three month Dermatica review with my early tretinoin results back in May. And it details how the service works, how I used the Dermatica tretinoin, my side effects and how I overcame them. As a very quick recap, Dermatica offers an online prescription skincare service where you pay. And at the time of filming, it was it's £20 plus postage per prescription, taking it to just under £23 per delivery of these little 15 milliliter tubes of tretinoin. In the US, I believe it's priced around $24.99 a month plus postage. And links are in the description. Back then, at the three month stage, I was just stepping up in strength because I started on 0.015, then uh, the next month stepped up to 0.025, and I've now settled on 0.05, which is where I'm likely to stay for the foreseeable future. This strength is powerful enough to make a big difference to my skin, but also, crucially, I'm tolerating it well. And I would say it's probably taken six to eight weeks for my skin to totally settle with the 0.05 strength. In particular, I had a lot of dryness, not irritation, but just dryness on either side of my chin. And that has been a weak area for me with tretinoin. I had a couple of days where my chin was flaking really quite noticeably. So what I did was I just mixed one pump of the tretinoin with a pea-sized amount of Aveeno Daily Moisturizer, which is so lovely and gentle, but also highly moisturizing. And that seemed to counter any side effects perfectly. What tretinoin is doing is it's speeding up the turnover cycle of our skin cells. So newer, healthier cells take their place and that's gonna exfoliate and clear your skin and visibly improve its texture over time, smoothing it out, but it's also gonna put your skin through its paces. And to begin with, it can struggle to keep up and so you get that sensitivity and peeling. In just a minute, I'm gonna compare a few photos over the last few months, just so you can see how my skin is progressing. But I did want to talk a little bit about what happens when you are in the sun um, or you're exposed to the sun a lot when you're using tretinoin. Guessing most of you will be aware that with any retinoid, but most certainly tretinoin, it will make your skin more sensitive to the sun. And therefore, you need to wear a factor 50 broad spectrum sunscreen which we really should do to protect our skin from skin cancer and com combat uh, the signs of aging, regardless of whether we're using a tretinoin or not. So I was already wearing Factor 50 on my face and even then I did notice extra sensitivity just from the sun here in Scotland in those early days of summer and that was early into my tretinoin use as well. And I've got to say, I was a bit worried about what was going to happen when I was in the full glare and heat of the sun on holiday for two weeks. Studies have shown that retinoids increased your risk of sunburn, particularly in the first six months of using them. So by the time we went on holiday, I was just about hitting that six month point. And what was interesting is that in the first few days, even with factor 50, I did notice more sensitivity around my chin and it got a little bit sunburnt. Nothing terrible, but it was a bit red. And I was every day either wearing a hat or a visor, but the sun was obviously catching my lower face on certain angles. So I just had to be careful to reapply the factor 50, particularly on my lower face later into the day, just to keep up the protection. And as it turned out, after that initial sensitivity, I didn't have any more problems in the sun or any peeling or dryness. So I just tried to shade my face as much as possible with a hat and using the sunscreen 
I was fine. So I just wanted to share that with you in case you were wondering what would happen if you were exposed to the sun a lot while on holiday and using tretinoin. Now for the results. I felt there was a big difference between my pre-tretinoin shot, so before I started using it, and my three-month picture. Now, when you add in my picture at six months, um, and I have to say, I do really try and take the same angle and the same lighting in my bathroom because I've, I've always got people who come on and say, you know, you've tilted your hair, head this way or that way deliberately. I'm not trying to be clever with the angle. It's just almost impossible with some, without some kind of head brace or scaffolding to get exactly the same angle each time. So I do my best and here we are. Uh, at the six month point, I've just got back from holiday and my skin is still looking pretty smooth and line free. Definitely at the very least keeping up with these early results. But I think that um, that smoothing effect, particularly around the eye area, which is lifted, plumper and smoother, I think that that is continuing. I can actually see the changes in my skin when I look in the mirror. And usually I can only spot differences with products I'm testing out if I compare before and after pictures. And that's why it's always really important to take before and after pictures when you're trying out any kind of anti-aging device or product. Generally, my face is free now from fine lines and I turned 50 in February. I've got some heavier lines on my forehead, but the fine lines have smoothed out. I think that tretinoin gives you that kind of glowing, clearer skin. And I, although I do still have some pores around my nose, they're way less of them and they're much smaller. And, and I'm left also with a couple of annoying whiteheads on my forehead due to my oily skin. But if you look at my skin a couple of years back, and in particular that sagging around the eyelids and the dullness, you can really see how far I've come. Tretinoin plays a huge part in that, I've no doubt. And um, in this video, I talk about good options for different stages in your life that helps explain um, the most, I think, powerful mix. Now, the reason I'm a particular fan of uh, the Dermatica Tretinone is that I know a few people, including my sister, who tried up regular Tretinone and had to stop using it because it was just too hard going on their skin. Now, they were likely starting on too high a strength, but using a service like this where they start you low and where um, they have put a, a formula together that contains niacinamide, which is a form of B3, to help reduce irritation and dryness, it does make a difference. It, it makes it a lot easier. And I got my sister into using it and she's loving it because she's a few years older than me and she really wanted to start using TRET. She's a nurse. She was a aware of all the benefits, but she just couldn't make it work for her until she tried the Dermatica. So I have a link to the site with a small discount code if you're interested in taking a look and that's in the video description. So you do pay uh, per delivery and you can adapt the frequency of that delivery and delay it by a few weeks if you're not getting through each tube um, in a month. And I actually just use one pump at a time which I start spreading over my forehead and around my face and chin and then I do a very gentle sweep across my upper eyelids and I when I apply a little bit of oil afterwards I'm sort of rubbing it down over my neck too. It's not recommended that you use tretinoin around your eye area because it is so sensitive and also if retinoids get into your eyes it can cause problems like dryness but I keep it high and I haven't had any issues but this is a particular area of concern for me so um, I like to get the benefit of the tretinoin up here. Now, I know a lot of you watching this are either using Dermatica or another prescribed tretinoin. So do let me know how you're getting on, what you're using, how long you've been using it for, and whether you've continued to see improvements over the long term. And I'll list the countries that Dermatica is sold in in the description. I've had at least one very disappointed person from Ireland on saying they can't source it there. And I think regulation around tretinoin varies from country to country. So it's not always easily available everywhere you go. It does depend on where you live. In most countries though, a doctor or dermatologist would be able to prescribe it after a consultation with them. So I hope you found this review helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to watch more from me and I'll see you next time. Bye.